Rules, my friend, are made to be broken. My rule is that I don't do artist patches and I don't do song patches. Other people do it better. It's just not my thing. But in my love for kind of raw amp sounds, the rig rundown from ACDC, that Premier Guitar just put out, do a Google search, Premier Guitar ACDC rig rundown. It will blow your skull off the top of your head. Very, very simple run, very simple rig, but it's just really well-maintained amps cranked beyond their capabilities uh, and just creating a dome of pleasure everywhere that these fellas go. So what I've done is taken inspiration from the things that they were talking about and threw it into a couple of different patches here. The concept is this wall of Marshall sound, but it's not a super gainy sound. Um, when you listen to the recordings or even if you ever hear kind of an isolated guitar track, um, it's not a super high gain. It's just like raw rock sound. A couple interesting things. One is that a um, wireless preamp so the guitar goes through the wireless and the preamp kind of colors the tone and I guess they loved it so much that they actually recorded using that thing so I'm actually starting this patch in through the guitar I got the Z set on 135k and the gain uh, on this mic preamp so it's a studio tube preamp actually that I've got going here running at 6.8 gain and the level of 5.6 and that's pushing the super lead or the, the plexi. So this is kind of the only quote unquote pedal in the entire rig and it's just coloring the sound and pushing the, the, the amp a little bit. The settings were pretty interesting in that video where they kind of convert all of these um, classic amps into master volume which is kind of sacrilege. Uh, so it's now a master volume amp with the drive at 8 master volume down at six and then of course with any like really cranked Marshall you want to keep the tone controls below five um, they had things at three 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 with the presence of one um, I have it here just with four and four and it's that you know it's a classic sound <laughs> again bridge pickup volume at eight uh, and it's it's exactly what you'd want it to be it is right there. Of course, volume all the way up. There's always some place to go. I prefer it right there, rolled back a little bit. And that's the core of it. But how is it getting that sound? Of course, I'm going through a dual cab here in path 1A. So Greenback 25s, two 4x12s, just with different mics, panned hard left and right, which is what dual cabs do, and different early reflections and high cuts. So they just have different flavors to these, uh, to these cabs. A dropping a path down here to 2A, first with an EQ just to emphasize the mids, and then in splitting with an AB split, route into two cabs. One here has a Greenback 20, 4x12 and then um, a 1960 kind of classic 4x12. Uh, this one here has a 421 dy dynamic while the Brit 20 has a ribbon mic going into a short room reverb. And if, and if you, in a quiet listening right here, you can almost hear just kind of that first kick back from maybe a back wall or something like that. And that's the core of the sound. <laughs> A couple things uh, in terms of foot switches. There is a compressor before everything, so if you're doing kind of like solo. And you need a compressor, you need things to sustain a little bit, it's there for you. Um, I did throw a reverb in there if you need it. So one foot switch here will turn on both of these reverbs, which are actually different reverbs just to give you kind of a full textured sound. But something that won't get in the way of the kind of raw. Next to the reverb button is something called wetter verb. 
and that just ups the mix on both of the reverbs through a controller assignment. Down at the bottom you have something called post EQ and of course right at the end of each chain I have a 10 band graphic EQ. This is actually for me just to roll off some of the top end and serve itself better for um, louder amplification settings. So you can do whatever you want with those post EQs. And the last button is called a mono button because the way these things are routed is that this amp uh, these cabs are panned hard right and left, and then these cabs here uh, are panned just a little left and right. When you hit the mono button, it just sums it all up. That's a great sound. The next, so that's Angus's rig. One amp, whole bunch of cabs, nice big wide sound, uh, and a little bit of reverb if you need it. Wall of Marshalls is actually the input running two paths. So you have the input going into both paths, hitting that preamp, and then hitting uh, two different amps. So this is actually the bright channel and the normal channel. Uh, so there's slightly different settings, slightly different models to give you an even bigger sound. Couple modifiers here. Let's go to the preamp. You see, anywhere you see brackets, I mean there's a controller assignment. So I have a button that increases the gain of that preamp. And you can definitely hear it. Here's the wall of marshals on eight. Now I'll throw that gain higher. Probably a little too modern for the ACDC sound, but it sounds great, so it's good to have that extra little push. Uh, and if I wanted to go all out, I could have actually just re raised the volume of my guitar up to 10. The next modifier is a button called Focus. Uh, it's a yellow one at the bottom there. I think it's switch 8. And Focus basically um, throws EQs in between the amp and the cab that emphasize the mids. Uh, so focus would be good for cutting through a mix. Here's focus off. I did throw a reverb in. With a reverb gets wet button to modify it. So we have the, our reverbs here. Both of them are plates. And as you can see, the mix is what changes when you hit the wetter button. So it's basically low mix, high mix. Turn that off. The last thing here, of course, the go mono button changes all the settings you need for the patch to become a mono patch. And a high cut which activates these two EQs and rolls off some of the top end. Here it is with it off. I can't let this take 10 minutes, so we're going to move on. The second Wall of Marshall's patch is not going to be on custom tone, so the first two, Angus's wig, rig, and Wall of Marshalls will be on custom tone. The last one here, Wall of Marshalls, same name, different concept. It's, it's the same patch with a different amp in it. I threw the Line 6 2204 modified and just changed some of the amp settings around to give it a more modern edge. So this is the um, Wall of Marshalls with a different amp in this second uh, layout. <laughs> That's all for now. Take care of each other. Happy guitaring. Bye.